Morning. It's a bit damp and dismal here. But today is going to be, I would say busy, but it's not busy with farming stuff, I suppose. I've got cattle to feed this morning. Then I'm picking up a special guest to drive down with me, my plus one to drive down with me to the British Farming Award, which I was kindly invited by uh, Mr. Ollie Bloggs, which is, uh, which is good. So we're going to be meeting up with him <coughs> and um, yeah, having a bit of a, a, a night out. So um, stay tuned and you'll see what happens. Them darker mornings now, Andy's got the lights on. Morning, Andy. He's here, look. He's got his hat on. He's got his hat on. These guys are waiting to be fed. And because there's no M today, because she's at college, doing some learning, I'm on with Andy, letting him in the pens. Mm. Come on, fellas. What have we got a Frisian here for? It's supposed to be all Aberdeen Angus, not Frisian. So we'll uh, let Andy in here, and he's going to straw these guys up. Looks beast with all the lights on it. are all enjoying their meal they're about on ad-lib bar barley now so that means they can have as much as they uh, they want to eat of this stuff they have still got some hay as well if they wanted to have some hay but um they're just totally on that now happily eating Andy there through the fog so i'm just on now fetching some straw and some hay we need to do a mix. We're not even in a pre-mix. So it's gonna get a bit long. Oh, we'll jump off. The nine meter. And we'll just get these two bales cut so we can get them in the mixer. I've just jumped on the 7.5 with a mixer on. Um, I said that there was an error code on this tractor last night. Um, so when she was doing the mix. So we'll see how it gets on. Um, I've sent Matt the, the numbers for Ripon, so hopefully um, it's something or nothing. Or it was something to do with turbo actuator, so we'll see. There's a bird stuck in the cab. <laughs> and there's a dog. Like, ow, ow, oh, it's a robin. Come on, little robin. Where's it gone? It must still be in there. I'm going up the other side. Gone. It's free. I so just cheered my day up a little bit. It needed a little bit of that. Ah, that's nice. Normally it's like a sparrow, but a robin. Yeah, I like robins. We're just getting a few cows out now. And they are now shifting the cattle around. Busy, 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 never stops. So Andy's just going to send these in. They've all come from the same pen. Look how clean they are. And then look at this one here. Got all mucky. Hey. I was saying how clean they are, and then there's that one mucky one. <laughs> that time of the year. Yeah, it's getting to mucky time, isn't it? Yeah. We'll start clipping them. Oh, well, that's it. Me and Andy got them out now. Look well bedded up in here, Andy. Wow. Still very wet outside. Andy is going to be getting on. We're doing some milling. We still need. Yes. There's not really. It looks like there's a bit in there, but it's all just like. Yeah, a meter right, isn't it? Yeah. And he's pushing up and getting some getting some proper stuff done. Mixers, it's gonna clean the yard because it's starting to look a bit of a mess. And um yeah, in a minute I'll be getting off to uh, on my journey. Journey to Harby, Melton Mowbray. I've got to wait around there for an hour while Mr. B does something. And then um then I'm on to uh Birmingham. To the well vox conference something or other but it's nec basically so yeah stay tuned for that move over that bit what andy <laughs> what do you want get some light on it all yeah. oh, right yeah yeah people might not know what we're on about <laughs> <laughs> if you know what we're on about let us know right, well i am now out of shower i'm um, gonna go and pick 
our special guest stuff. These guys are wet, don't they? Jeez. Sorry, guys. They can stand it, they're islands. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and pick our special guest up, which I think I've already mentioned him actually. And I'm supposed to be keeping it a secret, but anyway. Um, yeah, wait up. Andy's just getting that milling done, look. Well, I should. The gate's behind me. Be his look, Mr. Suave. I'm not suave. Looking very posh. Has anybody guessed who it is yet? <laughs> it's Mr. B. Put that on there. You might have to move your car a little bit before I crush it. Okay, okay. So we're just going past the British Sugar, so that's where um, all that sugar beet pulp that we got the other day came from. Maybe we ought to uh, do a tour of there one day. I think yeah, we'll have to organise something, um, getting a tour around British Sugar, because I think that would be quite interesting to do. It is very interesting. Yeah. Mr B's already done it. Oh. So um, yeah, we'll sort that out at some point, I'll get in contact with them, or if anybody's got contacts with British Sugar, let me know, and then hopefully we can get a little trip around the factory. Business. Right, we better get on with our journey anyway, or we're gonna be late. Just dropped Mr. B off, and I'm now just gonna go and explore the local uh, area. I've seen a few things that might be of interest to people, so let's go and let's go and check it out. Oh, so we'll have a quick look around here, I think. Why not? Look at this little beast. Hey, what weapon? Plenty of New Orleans about. Plenty of kitten here. Red Rock trailer. This is a bit of a fancy cattle trailer. I like the look of that. It looks like you can move the dividing gate forward and backwards. It's a bit different. Fancy. So, non farmers, what's this piece of equipment for? It's got augers, very similar to what we've uh, got on our feed mixer. And then it's got discs down here as well. What do you think it could be used for? Newer version of our spreader bale. And this is for the actual, for Heston's. So ours is a lot shorter. If, uh, if people remember it from my videos, it's about half the height of that. Um, so this is a proper one for full size Heston's. But to be honest, ours, does the trick anyway. Uh, but what I've really come down to look at is this Roland muck spreader. Because it looks quite fancy with these plastic like mud guards on it and stuff. Flashy. Discharges on these discs as well. I'm guessing, I don't know, somebody will know. How, how far will that throw muck? Far enough. This is a bit flash. It's like four meters, low disturbance subsoil or something like that. So that cuts the slot for the leg to go through. And then some real flat rollers, is it for grassland? I'm not sure. Somebody will know. That is a decent sized trailer. Hell of a trailer. Me and Mr. B were talking earlier about little square balers, and they're not really, well, it's not in fashion anymore, but look, we've got one here. Not so much changed on it by the looks of it. Since what I remember as a, uh, as a kid using them. <laughs> glad we're on big bales now. I, I'm, I'm glad we even moved away from round bales. Be confused walking up the yard. It, it's a topper on its end. Wow, this is a big beast. What is it? T7315? Wow. It's huge. Especially stood next to this little one. <laughs> it's not as big as the front tyre. Which is a lot more, lot more suitable to you, dear boys. <laughs> We've just been talking about this 315 as a new cab, isn't it? And yeah, it's not quite worked its way down to the to the other one. It's a different colour as well, isn't it? That's brew power. Yeah, so that's the uh, that's more of a bespoke colour for uh, 
Yeah, more of a for your, for your specialist man. Oh, all right, yeah. yeah. Do they got chrome yeah. exhaust as well, is it? Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> they can all be bought. Yeah. We can supply anything you want, really. <laughs> but yeah, yeah the, the blue power we do that in the sort of the, the top top end of the ranges in the in the three one five and the the two seventy, which is the the highest horsepower model in the long wheel base range. You can yeah. That in the blue power. Then the two two five short wheel base. So we've got one of those out the back. That's in blue power. Just a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it looks yeah, it looks well. Like it, it does, does look well. It does Maserati blue, that is. All LED lights on it and everything. It's got driving lights, yeah. LED driving lights in in there. You get the little strips. Oh yeah, oh yeah, in here, yeah. yeah. Daylight, daylight running. Three sixty, three sixty lights all around the top. So you can see, you know, completely all the way around you. Yeah, is that is it time running lights to call the front ones? Don't yeah, you? yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, so it's, it's 315. Is that what it is? Because, like, in that John, is what it is. yes, yeah, all day long, all day long. No boost, that is that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the, the other figures on some of these other bonnets that's your maximum boosted horsepower, right? So, that's a 145. So, that really is a sort of 130, 120. Well, you say the higher end, so I'd say about you lose about 15 hours, yeah. From your boosted down to sort of your natural unboosted power. Oh. But yeah, three three fifteen is uh, yeah, that's all. That's what it is, yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> so we're just looking at this now. The dung beetle. <laughs> it's on power source. Power, powered power poo collector. <laughs> it's a powered poo collector. Look, push it in there. Alright, sorry, yeah, this is where we're looking. Come here, look in there. Ah. So that's your rotating brush, that rotates. Yeah. And then on the front there, there's a set of uh, little tines that then they break down your you poo. Break down your break down your your dung. Yeah. So that breaks it down. The brushes then obviously sweep it up. They sweep it up into this box at the back, which we've just picked up. And then you obviously when it's working. Yep. So if there's anybody with a, a wife that's got horses and she doesn't like picking up the dung. So that behind a little quad. Right? <laughs> well, Keep everybody up Yeah, yeah. yeah. The behind the Land Rover Discovery normally. <laughs> well, Four-wheel four drive vehicle of any sort. Any sort. Just pull it well, along. One of these little babies. Yeah. Yeah. These little the beasts. But if you did that, you'd want a PTO-driven one instead of the engine. The, oh, oh, you call it a... Oh, it's, it is called a it's boomer. It's a boomer, yeah. Yeah, it's a boomer. He was telling me about these boomers, and then I was like... Yeah, that's boomer. what it's actually called. It's quite a nice name, isn't it? Yeah. Boomer. You can even get one with a cab look. And air conditioning. Aircon as well. Aircon. Heater, radio. Jeez. Even I can fit in it. <laughs> well, it's, it's surprisingly. So, so what do they have? Also, awesome 35 horsepower. Is that what they are? 35, right. yeah. So that's right, 35, yeah. 35, or something, say. This 50, 50. It's a big yeah, beast, this one. Yeah. Jeez. I should have a size tractor in the 1960s. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's as big as a. 135 or whatever. Bigger. Yeah. Bigger. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? It's about the same size as a. Better cab as well. Just, just a bit of the power, they're a bit bigger than a, about the same as a football. Big one. question, how much are these then? Which ones? Oh, so well, these little boomers? Yeah. That one there, that would, be, that would be about 20, mid, 25 grand, that one with the cab on. Not on. that one, that one. This one? No, this one. <laughs> this one. That's about 25, yeah, you, I think you might, you want to, you want you to might, times, might times like 10. Times about 10, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they might be somewhere close. These are about sort of 19. If we had 10 of these, we'd have 500 horsepower, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, hey. so value for, but they need 10 men to pay. <laughs> yeah. 10 men to pay, and then. Uh, <laughs> and we'll be aware. And 10 times the amount of diesel, as you think. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of tanks to fill. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, you could look at it that way. Yeah, we could, we could <laughs> go small, go small and uh, more of them. I think it will eventually go that way. I think, I think you'll get more robotics eventually. I yeah. think you'll get more. I think you'll get like tiny, tiny. Like you'll get remote controlled vehicles. You'll, you'll have these that will be operatorless, with a lot smaller pieces of the kit on, a lot lighter. Just working all the time. Just work, working all the time, and you'll most probably sit in that field as a controller, controlling them all. Yeah. And they'll all be doing different jobs and different tasks. Yeah. Well, that's those. I think. I think that's the way. It I, oh, I think you know, so as well. I think. I think, I think so. Eventually. I think, I think for soil, looking after soil and preservation of soil in the actual environment, I think that's where they'll have to go. Because, yeah. you know, they're very, very good, but you're talking... You're putting a lot know, of weight yeah, on the land. you can and... get that up to nearly 16 tonne in weight, you know, yeah. but if you're ballasting it right up to, which you may have to do to pull some of the equipment you need to pull behind it, yes, it most probably could pull some 12 metres wide. 
but you still have that compaction issue. Yeah. So it'll not be as cool though, will it? No. Oh, no. <laughs> you always have the daytime running lights in that. No, thing, no. And your, and your chrome and all your bling. All your bling, definitely. Yeah. Now we're just looking at these um, New Holland balers, but this is a high density. We've just been saying, what is it, 700 kilos a bale? 700 kilos, it could average 700 kilos a bale, yeah. 700 kilos Jeez. would be a good average. Um, you can get it up to 750. But it's not just about density, it's about capacity. You know, you can, you can actually, you could decrease your rate, but go a lot quicker because it's got the appetite. Well, it's got a real way of feeding it in there, hasn't it? All them yeah, well, that was, that's, a, that's a crop cutter one. So that one will do silage. Right. So that has knives, so we can, we can actually chop chop silage and chop grass with this one. What, and do you drop drop them in and out? Yeah, Is that what you drop, do? In and out on a, drop in and out on a drop floor. Jeez. That's a crop cutter, and then that one is a packer cutter. Sorry, a packer. A packer. So this is packer. more like a, a normal one? Yeah, so that's what normal packer feed. What we'd use for straw. Yeah, so that's more of a, that's more of a basic ah, yeah, so straw it's machine. Maybe it's similar to most probably what you're using now. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. With the, so, fing the fingers that pull it in, that's rather right. than a spiral yeah. uh, that pulls it in. Three yeah. rows, three rows of fingers. Or you have the spiral feed. I would pu push you more towards the packer. Oh, we're just saying that this this would pull the straw in better. You can get on quicker than than with than that something with a rotor in. But that you can do. With, you can start, do the silage. Can't yeah, you? you can do yeah. the silage. You can do your contractor you can do as well. You can, you can, <laughs> nobody wants to chop straw anymore because it's short enough out of the combines as it is. But, uh, <laughs> you know, if you really wanted to put your straw through it, you could, but it'd be a little yeah, chaff. Ours just comes out of this, uh, the, the Teagle just as like dust near enough sometimes. It was a two speed gearbox as well, so we start up at a low rev, we start up around about 800 RPM, and then automatically that will engage itself when it gets to 800, and then we go into a, the second speed up to 1000. Because it can put the tractor on its knees, can't yes. I mean, our Heston can put our 210 on its knees when it's starting it's up. The size of the driver as well, so you're looking side. Oh, yeah. Inside now, the gearbox and the flywheel size is, is so I'd say much it greater. Said the flywheel's wider than in yeah. our one that we've got at home. That keeps you momentum, you see. So, what's to, to keep that flywheel, to get that flywheel going, you need to start slower. Yeah. <laughs> but it also works as a fan. So, if you look at the design of the flywheel, it, it, it's actually stalloped. Almost like a oh, propeller. Yeah, yeah. So that blows the crop through, so it keeps it clean. Oh, so you never have to clean it? <laughs> never have to clean it. <laughs> no, you, can put, you can put that uh, airline... Case. Get, <laughs> just a minute, I'll get my checkbook out. <laughs> we'll have one. Oh, another man wanted to buy one. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying, you can lift the suspension up on this. And I'm like, I'm sure Ollie had one. It's very, it might have been a case actually. Very similar. Very similar. Very similar. Very it similar. might have been a cases, but um. Yeah, so good. On these rams here, got two big rams front and back. So there's a tap. There's a tap just here. Yeah. That we can then we can open that tap. And we can physically lift this baler up another. I say another 300 mil. Yeah. So, as you can see yeah. now, you don't have to bend very far to, to, get, to, to, to get to your needles as they are. So, if you lifted it right up, yeah. you can go under there. But it's you know, normally we have to get in on the floor, in all the crap, and thread the needles that are under there. And it's, it's, it's not nice. It's not a nice. Yeah. Job. It's, it's about walking there, can't it? Yeah, yeah, it does yeah. seem pretty easy. Like, there's a big tyre here on ours. <laughs> yeah. like one big tyre. Yeah. Oh, the big guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That likes to bounce, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it does, yeah. That likes yeah. to bounce. That's a balloon. Don't want to be doing 50k very often, really. Especially if you've got some rough roads. Oh, you can keep it. 75k with these. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm going to end up buying two of these. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one of these, one for silage and one for straw. <laughs> I think that'll go to the grave with my boss. <laughs> I think he's, he built this He built this business with that little forklift. <laughs> it's a right little beast. It's a grand little thing. It's because it fits in a container. Yeah? It's like a well, like a shipping container. container. Yeah, it's because it's got low cab and it's got that little triple mast on it. Yeah. You can, uh, you can go into load containers nicely with it. Manny too. Well, Bobby does, not it? Yeah, right. Don't see many of them. That's quite no. unique. Oh, it's uh, chicken, <laughs> chicken. Chicken farmers love them. Do they? Yeah, chicken sheds. Yeah. It's quite get fun. it in. Get it in. Yeah, get it anywhere. <laughs> These just go missing around us. If you've got one of them. Oh yes, we. That's quite quite, quite popular around here. Yeah. Time. So that was nice of Edward to show me around. Passed a little bit of time while uh, I wait for Mister B. Um, See if there's anywhere else local that we can see some bits and bobs. Right, I had to stop here and just get this in. 
Cropwell Young Farmers Club, 7.30, British Wool. Oh, Monday, Monday at 7.30. Thought I'd just stop here because I can't let an opportunity like that go to miss. Langer Airfield. Nice. To do with a skydiving centre that's close by. I don't know, but I like planes. Shame there's no helicopters though. Nope, definitely not. So, oh, me and Mr B have made it. We're in the car park. We're gonna go and try and find the hotel now because it's somewhere in this resource world. So, um, yeah, we'll get on with that. Ah! He's got his posh shoes on, I've got my boots on. I've got my trousers on. He's got, his, he's got his barber on, look. Oh, it's so flash. Is it a proper barber as well? Is it a proper one? Is it a genuine article? Yes. Look at that, eh? No expense spared with Mr. B. Beautiful. Being stumped by the lift. They're like Crocodile Dundee, Lee. Why? <laughs> oh, because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> what we're doing. Look at this, we've got a bit of, bit of vegetation. <laughs> I like, where's the tractor so I can notice? Um, yeah, anyway. Ooh, sanitise, that looks flash, that doesn't it, eh? Sanitise now. What do you sanitise? Oh, I did say hands. Only hands, just to be. What room number? Check this out. Let me get changed first, I don't mind checking this out. Well, why are you messing it all up and making it look messy? We won with a view! Is it? No. <clears throat> no, it's not. It's really not. We're in here. Me and Mr B are going to get something to eat now. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, then we'll be ready for going to the... British Farming Awards. Ooh. If people have liked today's video, what do they need to do, Mr. B? They have to like and subscribe to the Joe Seals. That's it, like and subscribe. Perhaps I should one day. Have you not? You have. Yeah, I've, yeah. See, I've seen uh, you on the subscriber list. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Um, yeah, so we're going to head off to that. Uh, we might get a few bits of videos, maybe even do a live, I don't know. But if you're not subscribed, you'll not know. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Sorry it's been a really, really That's long one. We'll see you later. Bye.